Jane Puller from Foshi Emporium and this is a little impromptu video that I'm doing using a new IOD stamp that I've opened. Um, this is called Laurel and I just love that and would absolutely love to do that on a wall in my house. But anyway I thought I'd just have a go and see if I can create a picture using it. So I have got a piece of wood and splashed two colours of paint on very randomly, dried it off and now I've kind of laid things out how I want them. And I've put these bits together actually on the plastic so it keeps them all together and exactly where I want them. So when I turn it over they'll be exactly in place. So that obviously needs to be moved but then I know the positioning. So if I do this bit first it will help me with the positioning of the next bits. So I use a stays on stamp. This is a slate grey, a stone grey. It's a little bit um, less in your face than the black one. So it's literally just stamping it up. Try not to get it on the back. Yeah, you can see where it's taken. Brilliant. Then I'll turn it over. Get it into situ and commit. Now I'm going to press all my areas, being careful not to move it. better than others but I think that's the kind of the, the uh, way to go with stamps it's not a perfect science so I want this one to go there and there so this one I'm not going to put on um, the plastic I'm just going to stamp it up freehand I'm going to let you watch me carry on building up the, this bit of the stamping before I move on to what I'm going to do next. And I will speed this bit up for you, but you can still see it happening. this next thing because I didn't know if it would work or not I've never done it before so I've been using some gold leaf well it looks a bit silvery to me but it's called gold leaf um, and use it um, foil size to um, get it on so I'm going to show you how I did that um, because I now want to add some um, writing and I've got a script stamp called letters um, and I'm going to use various bits of it to get some writing on here but first of all now this is the foil size you can get um, in lots of places, um, craft shops, and I want it thin because I don't want it falling in between. I think you probably could roll it on with a brayer, but I haven't got one, so this is my makeshift version. So I've stamped it all on, and now I'm going to just press my letters into it. 
Now this stuff is extremely sticky once it starts to go off, so you do need to get it off your stamp as quickly as possible after you've used it. So I've loaded it up, you can't really see it because it's clear, but I'm going to just put it randomly in situ where I want it and press. I want a nice distribution of the stuff. Now this stuff takes five, ten minutes to get a bit stickier, so you have to wait. So there's not a lot to look at now, so I'll take that off. Not a lot to look at. But I'll come back in five, ten minutes, I'm not doing anything in between, and then I'll show you what we do with the next stage. All right. Right, so I lied a little bit. I've used a little brush, and I've dipped it into here, and I've just painted little spots around the piece um, and then obviously I've waited for it to go off but what I'm going to do now this is the silver foil this is the first bit you saw me stamp it's very fragile it doesn't matter and I'm just using this fairly to press down onto the stickiness and then start using it to brush it off and what should happen, if it's working well, is that it will stick to where the foil size was, i.e. the lettering, and come away in the other places. I think you can see it starting to come. How cool is that? Love it. a bit of a mess but as you know I am the messy queen and you got the impression of writing how cool is that <laughs> and then I've got a little bit that I've done on here so if I place this over it it will stick to where it needed to be now a few dots So I'm going to carry on in the same way all around doing this technique using lots of different fonts on and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've very nearly finished now, it's a bit of a know when to stop jobby. And I'm just, because some of these leaves didn't come out perfectly, which is fine, but I thought to make a feature of them, I would just add some of this foil size in to, uh, to um, pick them out. So that's the last thing I'm going to do. And uh, once you put the silver leaf on, but as you can see, the whole picture, I've got in a right mess, look. <laughs> But the whole picture has just been random stamps put in different places. I have there's no artistic artwork going on here at all. So anyone could do it, you just need the stamp. So when I've finished and I've got the silver foil on, I'll uh, I should call it silver leaf really, shouldn't I? I'll show you what it looks what the finished thing looks like, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, we're all finished. My little experiment today, just with a bit of wood, some paint, two stamps, laurel and letters, and a little bit of this silver leaf and foil size. I love it. It's really effective. I, I don't do much um, board artwork anymore these days. I sort of concentrate on the furniture, so it was really nice just to have a play today. We've had quite a few customers popping in and out of the workshop watching me in action, which has been really nice um, to see how it works, and they've gone home with stamps themselves, so that was really cool. So uh, I hope you'll have a go, and uh, until the next time, thank you very much for watching.